In this video we're going to be going over how to get an explosive barrel. First you'll want to have your barrel model, but I've just downloaded mine from Sketchfab. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can get this model if you want it. So next we're going to right click and create a blueprint class and create an actor and we'll name this force. This can be the force which um, causes everything to move after the barrel is exploded. So if we go to add component, we want to search for radial force and just select it. And if you change the impulse strength and force strength, this will just control like how big and how much it forces everything to go around. You just enter those values and then compile. So you can play around and make these higher if you want it to move things even more. And next we're gonna right click and create blueprint class and actor and we're gonna call this collision. This is gonna be used so that if our characters ever like interact with the, or near the barrel, if they're within this collision, it's gonna make them go into ragdoll mode so that we can blast them away. So you want to make a sphere fifth collision and make this around seven. So I scaled mine up a bit and we just click compile and save. So next we're going to make the explosive barrel. So go to blueprint class and go actor and type explosive barrel. And if we just go inside this and go to add component and find the static mesh, static mesh. And I'm just going to select the barrel model. I just showed and then we'll just scale this down and so if we scroll down and we're going to make it so that on component hit so I'm in the FPS template so when our projectile hits it we're going to make the arrow explode so other actor I'm going to search for a caster first person projectile and when we hit it's going to explode so I'm going to go spawn emitter at location and I'm just going to plug this in. So if you are with the default starter content, you can just select explosion and select four because Unreal Engine comes back with a bunch of free particle effects, which is kind of good. And if we get our um, world, right, get the world location of our static mesh for the spawn emitter location. So when it when we hit the barrel with our explosive with our gun, and then next we're going to spawn actor. I'm going to spawn two actors. So the first actor is going to be the collision actor that we just created. So in case we have any um, uh, just enemies, I'm going to split the structure of this and we're just going to control C and control V. And then the next thing we're going to do is select the force. And we're just going to use the same word location. So this all happens at the same place. And then we're going to destroy the actor. So it will spawn this particle and these forces and then it will destroy the actor. So if we go and just drag in, oops. If we, one more thing, we need to go to the force actor and event begin play. We're gonna drag the radical force and we're gonna fire the impulse so that it just activates. And if we just compile, so this will just make sure that everything works. So now if we drag in the explosive barrel, so that is some, um, mesh and you want to make sure that it's simulate physics is checked so that it can be impacted by this and if we just drag this uh, close to the barrel if we hit play and shoot it okay um the it wasn't close enough to the barrel so i'm just going to drag the barrel closer to the mesh and if we shoot it it causes it to blast back so you maybe you want to increase the impulse the radius of this so that has a larger radius because i just left mine at the default value so you want to play around with those values if you want to adjust, adjust them. Next, we're going to make it so the barrel affects our characters. So I just have this simple character and we're just going to go into a viewport and I'm just going to add pawn sensing so that our um, character can chase us around. So this is just a character uh, blueprint class. Mm. And if I scroll down on C pawn, I'm just going to Pass on a first person character, and I'm just gonna make him chase us so we can make him chase us around, and then we're gonna shoot the barrel. And if he's close enough, he's gonna explode. So just plug in AI move to, and we're gonna get the actor's location of the first person character, and we'll just plug this in. And Pawn will get a reference to the cell. So on his capsule collision, uh, on component begin overlap if it overlaps the collision actor which we um, just recently created and I cast a collision 
we will get his mesh Oops. and set simulate physics so that he will set be will be in these physics forms and then we're gonna blast him away. So if we just compile and save that and then if we go to his um, mesh, we just want to make sure under collision presets that it's ragdoll so that this all works. Uh, ragdoll and if we just compile and save. So now if we just drag him near the barrel and now if we click play and shoot um, you can see he goes into physics and he's blasted away by the force so that's why we had those two active earlier uh, he wasn't chasing us because um, he's not facing the right direction and I've not put in a nav mesh uh, bounds volume so that he can move around the place so if we just put that in and drag it down so now he's going to be able to chase us and we can shoot the barrel so I'm just going to make mine wide so you can move all around the place. And if we click play. Um, he'll chase us. Okay, so I missed, but if he's within the radius, he's going to blast away. And uh, that's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.